Hola, hola, hola. Uma Junior lá, em Cabo Sea Atlântica, em Cabo Calo Trina, Calo Bonga com a Sega, Bonga em Dengue Zé Leona, Mac Force Family, number one. <laughs> Hi, Mac Junior, and welcome to Fresh Trends. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mac Junior! Okay, tell me about the moment that they called your name. Yeah. As the winner. I, 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 I just couldn't believe it, man. Because I was convinced that it wasn't going to be me. You know what I'm saying? Even when it was downright to the two of us, I was convinced it was going to be my character. You know what I'm saying? Because I believed that his personality was going to come off more. It was going to translate better, you know what I'm saying, to the people. So for me, man, I, I thought that that moment was, was, it was life-changing. And I'm still trying to take it in to, to this day, man. I just, I just could not believe it. You know what I'm saying? The moment that you were walking, going to the stage, Makeke was all out. And <laughs> do you know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about? Yeah, I get what you're trying to say. I get you. What happened? Okay. Like, everybody was saying, oh, Makeke is so chilled. But Makeke was so excited to see the people. Mm, mm, mm. That's not a, it's not an arrogance thing. It's not a, I thought I was going to win or he thought he was going to win. I, I've spent a lot of time with Makeke. That was a personality difference. For me, it's, I'm in the zone. The job is not done. I'm a soldier marching. I'm completing my mission. For my keke, it's it was a hard journey. There are these people that kept me here. They love me. I wanna I wanna show them how much I love them. That's what that was. It wasn't an arrogance thing, a confidence. Nah, it was a difference in personality. I'm a let me finish the job. He's more of a I love these people. Let me show my appreciation. Say. What are you gonna use the money for? I think that's the first question. Um, three quarters of the money getting saved, invested. Um, and a quarter of the money if. Maybe not a little more, a little less, you know what I'm saying, is going into my business. Ask Majine if he still plan to hold his friendship with Sinai and Liama. Do I still plan to hold my friendship mm. with Sinai and Liama? Um, if we link up and it's, it's a good vibe, sure. If, if, if I'm not actively going to try to keep any relationship from that house. Why do you say that? I'm just a loner. I prefer my own space. I'm I'm not a relationship person, you know what I'm saying? Especially friendships. I'm not trying to force it. Yeah. But when you were in the house and when you were Daki, uh Liema and Faima, I can't Faima as your friend as well. And okay, the three for now. No, you could put her in. <laughs> and Sinai. Those were people that we could see that you've got a rapport with yes. yes so why is it you're not gonna put a bit of effort i understand that you're alone but when you were with them when you were talking you were having a proper conversation and liema mentioned okay my my thing is gonna be very long but liema mm-hmm. mentioned that you guys would have a, a proper conversation mm-hmm. and sure. why wouldn't you want to carry that outside of the house the environment forced me to become somebody that would have those conversations with people. Had it not been for that environment, I wouldn't have had any conversation with anybody because that's who I am. You know what I'm saying? That's all that was. <laughs> is it still in a relationship? I love my woman. Says I'm still around. The relationship is stronger than ever. Love her. Have you guys spoken? A lot. A lot since I came back. Does he consider Fahima his wife since she considers him a husband? <laughs> No, Fahima is not my wife by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> when will he give Liema her Bible? The next time I see her, I'm handing her that Bible back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's having a fish for real. No, I wanna no no I wanna thank her for something. You can still thank her without the Bible. No 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 no. It's gonna mean a lot more with the Bible. Ah. I want to thank her for something. Okay. No, I honestly want to thank her. She understands. Oh, yeah, she understands. She knows Cesar. She knows I love her, man. Uh, she knows you love who? Cesar. She says knows I love her. Oh. <laughs> this is having a fish, though. I just want to thank her for something. Oh, my God. Is she in your heart and your mind? Who? Does she know how you feel about another one? Who? Does she know about how you feel about Lee? How do I feel about Lee? Uh, <laughs> how do I feel about Lee? We don't know. How do she, you feel about Lee? Lee's just a fr- Yo, Lee knows how I feel about my girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. 
But Caesar, does Caesar know how you feel about me? She's always known. Oh. <laughs> how can she know? Why she, she didn't know the ever? Please ask, uh, ask my Virginia if you would consider collaborating a song with Liema, as he suggested in this clip. There was a clip that mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. there was a video yeah, that is yeah, on, yeah, yeah. yes. I know, I know, I know. Yes. See, Fahima, uh, Liema, if they ever hit me up or we're ever in the studio together and they're like, yo, let's work and let's do a song, that's something I'm, I'm passionate about, you know what I'm saying? I never took it to that level, but I would love to, if she has a song and she's trying to get me on it, I would. I would totally. Okay, and somebody said, and also, uh, or the same person said, and also, when can we expect the release of his video of his opinion on each housemate that he mentioned to Sinaya Saturday? We are eagerly anticipating it. Now, I think I'm being misquoted. I didn't say I was going to make a video. I said, if I were to make a video, it would be fire, like giving my opinion on everybody. I didn't say I was going to make it. I said, if I were to make it. Yeah. Okay, would you like to make it for this person? <laughs> Not really. uh, you know what, man? It, it would be heat, believe me. But but let's see. Let's see, man. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Ask Majina to please pursue acting because he's very good at it. And we, Mark Force, live for him so much. Um, Pursuing acting. Um, As I said, it, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not going to chase it like my life depends on it. I wouldn't chase it. But if there's an opportunity, why not, man? You know what I'm saying? Why not? And, you know, since since I'm not bad at it, why not? And if there's an opportunity, man, let's get it. Uh, I had an interview with your, I thinking it's your dad and your younger sister and your mom. Yeah. Uh, and they, they spoke about the moments that they really loved so much was the part of acting. They didn't know that you were that good. And they spoke about um, the diary sessions <laughs> they really loved that so much but they were surprised that you could act yeah yeah i think i think when my sister came she said it she was like oh you can act you know what i'm saying so that was something that surprised them and it surprised me too you know what i'm saying and diary sessions i've actually heard that you know what I'm saying this is my second time hearing that i didn't know they'd be that entertaining to the people but you know i've heard that my diary sessions you know some people enjoyed you know what i'm saying and i appreciate that i don't know if you would like to Answer this one. You you did that a couple of times, but somebody's asking. Magina, why did you say you won't keep any contact with anyone? Aside maybe F- Fahima and Liema. What about Neo and Taki who had his back inside and outside the house? Okay, if not close, but just a thank you and keep in touch. Nothing else. See, I feel like maybe sometimes I maybe don't explain enough. When I said maybe a Liam and a Fahima, that was a part of a list of people that I wouldn't mind if it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's happening? What's good? You know what I'm saying? Not not maintain a relationship. For me, uh, hello, what's good? Once in six months and if I see you or, you know what I'm saying? Or if you have a situation, I'm trying to show up as somebody that knows you. That's a completely different thing than maintaining a relationship. So there are people that I would show up for and there are people that I'm, yo, man, what's, what's happening? Is life good if I see you? But I'm not keeping... A relationship going with anybody from that house nobody nobody yeah please tell mark jr that he played a good game he indeed is an underdog or oh, i don't know however you say mm-hmm. that also we love him just the way he is not everything is about being loud and messy he stayed in his lane we caught up with him instead of him trying to impress us by being fake and losing himself mm. yes no this one is not a question that's just... facts man those moments when you're in the house, you're on your bed, you were by the washing line there, by the, do you call it a be- basin or some, where you guys wash your clothes? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or you'd yeah, go yeah, by, the sinks. Yeah. <laughs> like what happened? Like you are alone there, you're not saying anything. The fire brick corner. <laughs> what, what was going on in your mind? Introspection, reflection, plans, just just that. Nothing crazy. I've said it in the house before. Those are just introspections. Just getting into my zone. This is this is who I am. This is what I did. I regret this. Maybe I shouldn't have said that that way to this person. And just centering myself. Just I'm here for the money. I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to let this phase me. So just in, introspection, reflection, and just nothing else. From that. I saw something on social media. This you can answer if you want. Yeah. If you don't move they were talking about i think it was because of saturday when you were opening up about mm. your, sunday morning 
Yeah. Was and, it Sunday morning? Yeah, the family stuff. You were opening up, uh, opening up about your family. Yeah. And somebody said they wanted to know more. And mm-hmm. you've already said in a previous interview that you don't want to talk deep into it. Mm. Why did you bring it up? I asked myself that to this day because I was determined not to ride on the back of my struggle or my story. It just, Sanaa and I were just talking and I, it was one of those, and it never happens to me because I'm very deliberate and calculated about what I say and how I say it. So when, when it just, it came out and it felt natural, he was talking, he was relating to it. It was like, yo man, I'm sorry about that. And I just spoke. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe that's what therapy feels like. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it was just a brother to brother moment. And I was just talking and he was like, yo, man, that, that shouldn't have happened. We were just, it was, it was just honestly a matter of talking to another brother and let's just talk. That's what it was. It was nothing else. You know what I'm saying? It was just an honest conversation. I love my parents. I have no problem with either one of them. It is what it is. I'm not here to finish battles I didn't start. And I said, I love my parents. There ain't nothing else to it. You're not getting nothing else. Nobody's getting anything else. If you're curious, that's you. That's it. I love my parents. And that's it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, the reason why I'm asking is so that you can yeah. just clear it for the yeah. people that are. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's not coming to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, coming yeah. To, to your them. parents. Yeah, yeah. Because we did two interviews. The other, the other one, I because heard. they were yeah, yeah. they were excited. And yeah. they were asked, um, what do you think he's going to do with the two million? Mm. And they and then they said, no, he's going to have to do him. It's mm. all about him. It's all about building himself. Mm. So hence the people said, but the father spoke so well. And he's really excited for him. So it brought that because of the conversation that you just had with Sinai. You know, I'm still their child. And I'm yeah. sure they were over the moon. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happens, no matter the issues, if your child goes out and they live their truth and they come out with something that means something to them because mm-hmm. they know my struggles you're going to be happy. You're still a parent. Issues don't matter at that point. You know what I'm saying? You're a parent and you're you're happy for your child. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy that you say that. So let's move. For those that were curious, they will get this. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Thank you for showing the world that you can Moshe with integrity. We voted for you. We love you. You are the best of the best. I also couldn't believe, but I voted like crazy. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. So this question or this statement is coming after the fight with Ghost. It was from the previous interview that you just did. Yeah. But somebody said, this is true, Fahima's laziness caused that fight. Not even in the slightest. And the crazy thing is, for me, I cleared this up in the show, in the moment with Fahima. I was like, this is not about you. It's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. You're just the person that fought him before me. And now it looks like I'm trying to take up for you. That was because he came for me and I defended myself. Nothing to do with Fahima. But was Fahima doing what she was supposed to do? In terms of? In terms of the duties that everybody was assigned Oh, I went to up do. to Fahima and I was like, Fahima, you're going to do what you have to do. You can watch the clip. It's on the tube. It's, on, it's everywhere. The, I went up to Fahima and I was like, you're going to do what you have to do. You're going to play your part. Fahima was aggrieved by how the duties were being split. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember it verbatim mm-hmm. what she said, but she was very aggrieved about how the duties were split because that day she had washed the dishes. So she had an issue with doing it again. Now, I didn't know their semantics or the details of how the team worked, but the, she was aggrieved about something like that. Another person said, please don't ghost us. We want content. We want to see it. We want to see you out of the house. Cool. <laughs> oh, and this person said, you don't take losing so well. I'm there to win. I'm there to compete. I'm not there to lose. Everything for me is about the goal. And if I don't achieve the goal, I'm not happy. Wow. Okay, fine. This question, uh, a lot of people, they're fighting because of this. But anyway, mm. I'm going to ask it anyway. When you, get your, uh, when you got your phone, did you figure out that Liema, Liema's fans contributed as well as we voted and stood by you because Liema put that dagger on you to shine? I said this while in the house. I put the Bible on that table and I was like, (laughs) I might be thanking Liama for something this Sunday. What do you think that meant? Okay. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. That meant something. 
So did you know that Liyama's people are gonna vote for you? When Liyama said, I'm giving that dagger to Mac oh. for attention and I want the cameras on him, that was a direct endorsement. To me, that's how I read it. I didn't know I was going to win. I didn't know if she had people or not. Mm -hmm. But it was, I'm endorsing this guy. That's how I was like, yo, if your people really come through and my people come through and you really have people like that, then I might have a shot. And even if I don't win, you really played a part in giving, in trying to get me that win. That's why I was like, I might be thanking her for something. And I really meant I was going to thank her, regardless of the win or not. And what, how do you feel about the, is it 0 0.07%? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm difference between you and Makeke? I feel like it goes to show how good of a character and good of a fighter Makeke is. I bet he is not keeping his relationship with us. These are your friends. Hey, I um, I haven't said anything about disappearing, I repeat. <laughs> Makjini, are you still going to give Sinaye your 27k as promised? He's getting it. Sinaye's getting that back. Gianni, umkaja. Is getting our bag. Uh, can Mac Jr. consider a talk show? Because we don't want to miss that uh, reasoning voice and that golden laughter. If the bag is there, the opportunity is there. Why are none fans complaining that he might ditch us? He's an introvert after all, and we voted out of love with no expectation in return. That's how other people feel. Thank you. I appreciate that for real. The podcast with Makeke was a hit. Do you think that maybe you and him can possibly start one and work together in the future? Yeah, Mr. I'm willing to do work with Mr. Makeke, man. I'm ready and willing to do work with Mr. Makeke. As I've said, what I've said about the bag and opportunity. But I'm willing to work. And he's the one person that is number one on my list when the opportunity comes. Yeah. Uh, the moment that I loved of you and Makeke was the part when you guys were acting. You remember that part when you guys were in like... It, Okay, it was a car. Imagine yeah, a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Week seven. I really loved that. Yeah, it was really that's my favorite too. <laughs> it was dope. Yeah. Yolanda, Liema, and your, mm. and your people, they are fighting. They're mm. saying, why are you doubting your fan base? We went all out for you. Mm. You never touched bottom three when you were standing with Yolanda and Liema. Here's my thing. Uh, getting misconstrued. The statement getting misconstrued. I said, the McForest family. My number one fighters, the people that are responsible, largely responsible for the check, were there for me. And I appreciate that 100%. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. The appreciation and gratitude I have is, is beyond their imagination. However, I'm not going to sit here and not give gratitude and appreciation to Liema's endorsement when she sent her fans to my troop and had them fight behind my fighters. That meant something and that contributed because at the end of the day, the difference was 0 0.7. Had Liam and not made that statement, we do not know. Maybe I would have won regardless, but that statement helped. And there were people from the Lilies camp that came and helped with the fight. And I'm going to show appreciation to that regardless. Yeah, you're right. Okay, uh, so connected to that, do the same question mm. or to the same statement. Liema fans supported you and Sinai. Makeke had support from uh, Makeke had support from Yolanda and Bravo B, and Bravo B fan base. We only received half of Liema's fans. That should show that McForce did it for you, not any other, not any other team. If there was one person that was Liema's fan that voted for me, I appreciate them. It doesn't mean that it was the majority of them, uh, 50,000. If it was one person that heard Liyama and said, I'm voting for Mac Jr. because Liyama said that, that was because of, that, that, that was Lily's camp. And I appreciate that. Okay, and these pe people are saying, your naive family meeting, say, say, you can disappear afterwards. No, no solid plans have been tabled, but, but you know, I haven't heard him. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, once something solid comes up, we'll, you know, I, I'll, we'll talk, you know what I'm saying, and figure something out because I am grateful and I appreciate their effort. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You are very loyal. And Liam said something about Mac Jr. He will feel like even a hug is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. When you were saying something about housemates, right? Yeah. And then you took Liam's uh, picture and then you said, Biggie, if you had given us three more days or it uh, was, a was a week. A joke. <laughs> Seven more days, it was going to be a quang, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I was joining young puppy and Mkaya. Um, hey man, uh, hey, hey, Miss Pansy. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 I'm in a committed relationship. I think I said it somewhere in the show. I don't, it was Mbumi. I said it to Mbumi. I said it to Mbumi. I was like, if you get my personality, you know it was a joke. I said it to Mbumi. Mbumi can vouch for this. Ask her. I said it. I said it was a joke. And if, if, if you didn't get it, get it now. It was a joke. That was a straight up joke. Liama was there from day one. She was flirting. And I didn't do anything. I had eight weeks, nine weeks. I didn't do anything. So that was a pure joke. Nothing to it. Anything that you would like to say to the people that voted for you? McForce, uh, thank you. Thank you, McForce family, for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Uh, man, words cannot suffice for what you've done for me, man. You've given me a launching pad. Um, you know, take take my dreams. Take my dreams and goals and make them a reality. And I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, man. I really do. I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate the effort, the putting in time and... And actually, you know, loving a stranger, somebody that you don't know, somebody that you see on TV that, you know what I'm saying, isn't anybody that you know personally. I really appreciate that. And to every other camp that contributed, even if it was one person. If you are from another camp and you contributed to me winning, I appreciate you as much as I appreciate my camp. I appreciate everybody on the same level. Out of all the people in your house, none of, none of them speak like you. Facts. What happened? Facts. I was a recluse from a young age. I was, I was, I'd self, I'd sit there and just watch TV and just, you know what I'm saying? I thought the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know, Will Smith was the coolest person on earth and I wanted to mimic how he spoke. And before I knew it, I was stuck in it. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. So besides this, can you speak the other way? No? Do you, you can. I mean, you've heard my conversations with my keke. <laughs> I know, I have never. <laughs> I hardly it's I speak English because it's necessary. God is not going to be able to do this. Hola, hola, hola. 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 <laughs> at home you speak english only right speak zulu only at home exclusively i don't speak english at all just sometimes but at home exclusively zulu my girl my girl is tosa and she's a proud tosa she speaks tosa and nothing else and you know that's what we do i love that woman and believe me some of this money right here man when i grow it back when i'm able to generate more with this money i'm gonna put respect on that woman's name i love her you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because somebody asked, when are you getting married? Uh, well, they were asking because Liama said we get married in August. That's why they were asking. <laughs> so that was just that was just somebody trying to be messy. Mm. <laughs> which oh. which is man, at this point, I just really like to say this. It's it's inappropriate at this point. Leave the game in the house. You know what I'm saying? I have I, I, I really would like to have respect. On my relationship, I saw two thingies today on some Mac Junior dumps girlfriend for Liama. That's inappropriate at this point, man. Don't don't mess with people's relationships like that. The game is over. Leave the game in that house. This is real life, my dog. You understand? Know and I really respect my woman. I really would like if she was respected too. See, for me, man, when it comes to my girl, clear lines have to be drawn. I don't give a fuck. For me, I don't give a fuck if everybody turns their back and they're like, we don't like you anymore. I don't care. When it comes to my girl. Clear lines and boundaries are going to be established, man. Ain't nothing else. I'd do anything for that woman. Ain't nothing. I don't want anything that bothers her like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I need to see Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any last words? Um, thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for supporting me. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. I'm humbled. Um, introverts, man, came out. You know, I stand, I stand partially, if not holistically, for every introvert, man, that has a skill that they're doing in their bedroom or they're practicing or, man, the world, the world is your oyster, man. Come out, get on a public platform and show them what introverts are capable of. You don't have to change who you are 
to fit in or get on a platform like big brother somebody like myself that's a bedroom rapper bedroom actor bedroom songwriter whatever you know what i'm saying bedroom lyricist came out and they were an introvert on tv you know what i'm saying and and got the job done so come out man don't don't die with that skill come out and use it and um man real real introverts association of life man yeah <laughs> thank you thank you so much macjinia all the best hopefully the two million will generate and thank you. wish you all the oh you said you want billions right all billions. the billions may they yeah. come to you thank and you. hey man this is special some of the questions are spicy though <laughs>